keto bagels. Let's get started. What is keto? Keto is a new way to eat that is healthier with less carbohydrates like bread or pasta. All right, let's go bake. Get the almond flour. Our ingredients today are sea salt. Am I supposed to say that? Oh. Almond flour, baking powder, butter, cream cheese, vegan cheese, and two large eggs. Time to bake. Recipe, you're also going to need your parents because you're going to use in the stove. So now we need a cup and a half of almond flour. You're going to put it in the bowl. One cup. And a half cup. Once you put your uh, cup and a half of almond flour, you're gonna take, you're gonna get uh, one tablespoon of baking powder. We're gonna whisk it together a little, and then we're gonna set it aside. This next part is where you're gonna need your parents. Did somebody call me? The parent. I'm gonna put the stove on low temperature. Then once that heats up a little bit, we're gonna put um, our melted cheese and the cream cheese and mix it. Make sure you have parent supervision while you're using hot stuff so you don't burn your fingers. Okay, so what are you going to do? We're gonna heat this up a little bit. Okay. And then we're gonna put some of the cheese and uh, cream cheese in it so we can mix it and it'll be liquidy and then we can put that. The, that mixture and this mixture into that. Sounds good, go ahead. We need two and a half cups of mozzarella, we also need the other one. And then we need two ounces of cream cheese. Yeah. yeah. More cheese. So we just put it in the Get this one. Okay, one cup of cheese. Smells like cheese. Okay, that's a lot of cheese. There we go. Now we're gonna take two ounces of cream cheese and put it in the pot. You want to mix continuously. So, until it melts. Yeah. Try to make sure it doesn't burn. Once it looks like this, it is good. Okay, then you that's when you turn the stove off because you don't need it anymore. And you're going to pour this melted cheese and uh, cream cheese into your flour and baking powder. Now we mix it together. While she's mixing it, we're gonna add one egg in at a time. How many eggs? Just two. Go ahead and mix it. And while someone's mixing, you can go ahead and get the pan ready. like cheese. Now um, once it gets to this part right here, then you can get it out and eat with your hands a little bit. But first, make sure to wash your hands. Yes. Whatever you need is going to be really, really sticky. 
this is not, this doesn't feel good. Stop, people! Our doggo. Yeah. It's supposed to be a very weird texture too. <laughs> While you're kneading it, you're gonna go ahead and, and melt one teaspoon of butter. Teaspoon. One tablespoon of butter. <laughs> Now we're gonna take this out of the bowl and we're gonna roll it and into like a log and shape it into a bagel. Let's go. I don't like this dude. My fingers feel weird. Like I'm holding SpongeBob. Feels like I'm, there's SpongeBob. Break, you're gonna break it into six pieces so you can make at least six bagels. There we go. Six pieces of SpongeBob. Now we have to make them into bagels. You can make it any size you want. Just make it into the bagel shape. Yeah. Bagel. All right, there's two. With your melted butter that you melted earlier, you're gonna go ahead and start coating them with butter. That's the best one right there. That is the best one. So after you do this, you're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you put the melted butter on the bagels we're gonna put sea salt but you can also put poppy seeds dried onions and sea salt on it now we wait for the oven to preheat and we can put them in for 10 to 14 minutes so the oven has preheated so we're gonna go ahead and put the bagels in So fast. We're gonna check if they're actually cooked. There you go. <laughs> this is what they look like when they're done. I think they need a little bit more. They do. Come on. Perfect. Before we have someone taste test it, we're gonna slice it down the middle. Yeah. And that was our bagels with a twist.